new days, new beginnings, new plans. Going to tell you about the direction of the companies. Currently, the Hustler Mindset Project, the original one, that's closed. I'm revamping some stuff, so you can't get in that anymore. But what you can do and maybe you should and this is about the new channel and I'll tell you about all of that stuff I am going to double down triple down quadruple down on video ebooks audiobooks podcasting more video creation and that's going to come under the brand name of Digital Pimping. New stuff, different thing. Started yesterday with the first course, which is how to profitably start your YouTube channel. Because I constantly find myself looking at channels and I'm going, this is wrong and this is, it's just, it's automatic. And understand, I built my YouTube channel from a posture of selling something from day one. Most channels are not built that way. The whole thing is get views, generate money from AdSense, and hope for the best. There are not many direct product selling model video channels on YouTube. There's just not that many. And that's why I had to create all of these processes and systems and research. Now, understand, there are people who have YouTube channels who are making millions, but most of them are in the entertainment realm. Not many are doing products. The number of people who are doing products are growing, but it's not a many. And, and there's a way that you have to do it, and there's a way that you have to set it up. And that's what digital pimping is going to be about. And this will be the only time that I'll talk about digital pimping because many folks here, you good folks who are here, you came for resale, hustling, that type of advice. So you really don't care about writing an ebook or creating an audio book or doing a YouTube channel. So I only expect a few of you to come over to the new thing, which is cool. Now what's gonna happen to this channel is I'm gonna keep on with the American Hustler I'm gonna keep on with the business talk. That's not going anywhere. And I am almost defined, and this is gonna be a course in digital pimping, how to create audio books. I'll tell you my story. 2010, I was having problems with CreateSpace and I was having problems with Amazon. And when I say problems, they weren't doing anything bad. They weren't being nefarious or anything like that. That wasn't the issue. I couldn't get the metrics. And you still can't get the metrics. That is a huge, huge, huge issue for me. You need metrics to make the best decisions for your business. So I struggled with that because I knew there was things that I, were, I was missing out. So I created these processes that helped me where I gained the metrics and I ran my first successful experiment yesterday. I um, put together an audio book, put it out, really cheap, $3.95, pretty good audio book for $3.95, and it went better than expected. It went much better than expected. So I'm really, really hyped about how this is gonna go. And that's gonna be a course in digital pimping. Now, digital pimping right now is super economical because I'm building it. You've got the first week of how to profitably start your YouTube channel. And what I'm doing now is I'm doing stuff every day. My goal is to create an hour of content every day, every day. And I woke up this morning and I created 50 minutes of content. And that was with the YouTube how to properly start your YouTube channel. Because this, and the reason I'm doing this video and letting you know what's happening, becoming a digital pimp is a very long-term process. This is not, 
30 days, you're making $40,000. This isn't even, shoot, it may not even be 12 months and you're making $40,000. It may not even be 24 months and you're making $40,000. When I started this YouTube channel, 2009, I did not make a penny for six months, maybe seven, not one penny. And when you say, hey, you are gonna work your ass off, you're gonna bust it, you're gonna bust, bust, bust. But oh yeah, the money's not coming in. For people with a W-2 mindset, that's like, whoa, 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 what the hell are you talking about? Fuck that, <laughs> oh no. I'm Jimmy Johnson. I got to get paid. I got to get some Similac. Got to pay the child support. And you know, I saw some gators. You know, I love those gators. I got to get my money. And that type of thinking of immediate gratification, not positioning your life correctly, leads to people living, in my opinion, substandard lives. If you cannot get a hold of your whims and wants and desires and push yourself to build a life then you'll just live to what's being handed to you if that makes sense so i'm saying this for those folks who are looking at and you know many people who come to this channel and all are welcome everybody's welcome they come to me when they're ass the fuck out it's like i just got laid off i need a quick come up i need to hustle some craigslist you know uh 90 days i'm gonna need to make about 10 grand i can't help you you are a year too late two years too late three years too late and i'm being very very clear digital pimping is a long-term process you have to build you have to create you have to market now if you're down for that it's also very rewarding and your stuff doesn't disappear overnight because of a uh as some, someone said the google zoo with the panda the penguins and the yetis or whatever else they have in there it doesn't just disappear because you're building a brand you're building a tribe you're building a community it has a certain level of stickiness that these scams schemes and or wazzes as this girl used to say she used to call them wazzes wild ass schemes and it, it just it's not really fulfilling for me so i say if you journey into digital pimping understand i want your expectations to be properly set i want you to have a firm grasp of what you're getting into because the YouTube and the video section, we're gonna talk about that for months. It will not be, oh, okay, you can get started in 30 days. You can start implementing. I have a strategy where I can teach you a fast start of a YouTube channel, but it's gonna cost you some money, so you will not be able to do this for free. You know, those are things we'll talk about and discuss, and it'll all be there, but understand, this is for people who want to build something of durability, or if you have a business that's making you money and you want to enhance your brand, then you're going to love this stuff. But if you are broke, you are ass out, and the bill collector is like, Aroo! biting you in the ass, and all you can see is, I need to make money. I need to make money now. No, this, this is not the course for you. It, it is just not. I, I don't even want you to email me. I don't, no, no, no. Because conservatively, if you are a person doesn't have a YouTube channel you just have some ideals and we get started today we get started today you're looking at possibly making money at the earliest at the earliest because once again you have nothing built there's nothing 90 days and that's super super fast and that's from scratch and I'm not talking about a lot of money I will be very honest with you. Once again, I started this YouTube channel and didn't make any money for six months. Six months. And because of my business perspective and my background, I was like, wow, this is quick. But if you're going from a W-2 situation where you get a check every week, every two weeks, once a month, that is an incredibly long time. It is just stupid long stupid crazy but it's durable because i'm going to go off into another little tangent here and i'll come back 
there are many people who started with me in the storage auction space on YouTube and developed channels and they're gone. They came, they went, oh, and they're gone. It's over because they didn't innovate. They did not see the future. I knew the storage auction thing was not gonna last forever and I prepared for it. And that's why I'm telling you that the things that you're gonna get with digital pimping are gonna be lifelong lessons. They're gonna be fun, but I want, like I said, I just want your expectations to be properly grounded. I don't want you coming in there like, well, you know, um, yeah, I'm doing this and you're telling your folks and they're like, yeah, you've been doing that digital pimping thing for six months. You make any money? You getting paid? You gonna get those gators? You gonna get that leather? You gonna go to Cancun and all that other stupid bullshit that doesn't really matter in the grand scheme of things. But with that, it's gonna be fun because I'm a member of three different writing groups and I hear this thing and there's not many people who are selling eBooks or audio books in the traditional writing community that are doing it outside of Amazon, iTunes, or other platforms that they do not have any control over. They have no control over how much they're gonna give up. They have no control of the metrics. They can't get the metrics. They, there's just so many things that they just don't have. And I will be honest with you and say, a lot of them are making way more money than I am. But that's the beginning. Because some of them, I have uh, one friend who's doing 100000 a month on between Kindle, uh, Nook, iTunes, and a few other platforms. Now, they're still, now she's down to about 18000 a month, which is still a lot of money. But she just saw her income. I mean, she kind of freaked out because she was living that $100,000 year a month life. She was living that life and she had those bills. You know, I said, you know, you need to pay cash for stuff. You do not need to be doing this stuff as if this is going to last forever because it's not going to last forever. So, you know, she's, you know, she's making money, but she's kind of struggling. I know you're going like 18,000 a month and she's struggling. She was living that hundred thousand dollar life and helping out a bunch of bums in her family. Yes, bums. I told her they're bums, and that you keep putting out that cat food, the pussy's gonna keep coming back. That's all I gotta say on that. And we, I, I see these things, and these folks, if Amazon shut down for a month, and it's not gonna happen, but if something happened for a week, their income would be drastically impacted and there's nothing they can do about it because they're not building their platform today. And like what I just said about people who come to me who are looking for come up advice, making money really quick with little to no investment, they're a year too late or two years late. So now that I've built this thing and I've got these methodologies and these processes, I can teach you how to sell your books get the customer's information, build a tribe, and make money independently of Amazon. And with that said, now that I can do this, I'm going to go back to Amazon because you should do the hard stuff first. Because if you go ahead and put your books on Amazon, many people just say, hey, what's the problem with putting your books on Amazon? Just put your books on Amazon till you get your thing rocking and rolling. This is the problem. Human beings have this habit of becoming conditioned and lazy to what they're doing. So you're putting money, books on Amazon, like the girl who was doing 100000 a month. She saw no reason to build her own website. She saw no reason to invest in herself. She didn't have an email list. She saw no re It was like the money comes in every month. Bam, it's in my account. Why should I? So you go ahead and you get that income in, and if you're not deeply internally driven, you're just like not going to put forth the effort. It's like people who have a really good paying job, it's hard for them to start businesses because they don't have that hustle and drive. It's like I get paid a lot of money, I pay all my bills, and when I pay all my bills, I got plenty of money left over. They're just not motivated, and that's what happens. So I did the hard thing first. How do you do this? How do you create the distri distribution systems? How do you make this thing work for people? How Those are a lot of questions that other content creators who are writers 
have not addressed. There's some who are doing it. There's some people who are rocking their own sites and they're making money. But you should be your site, your platform first, Amazon, iTunes, and other things second, third, and fourth. But it's usually Amazon first, iTunes second, Nook third, my, your platform, whatever. Well, I just got a blog. That's it. And then you've got a link to your book on your blog going to Amazon. That should not be happening. You should be able to say, look, I've got this product and it's going to be an educational sale. And this is where my time at Renocrate really helps me because once again, people are inherently fucking lazy. And it's like, wait a minute. You mean I got to spend eight seconds putting this thing on my device versus just going to Kindle and click and it's there. Oh my God, you are killing me. Who's got time for that? Oh my God. Next thing you're going to want me to do is get up and change the television without the remote. Who the, who, who the, I don't fucking know you anymore, man. I mean, that kind of laziness has a way of creeping up and biting you in the ass at some point. So this is all to say that Digital Pimp is going to be fun and the content will be only ebooks, audiobooks, video, podcasts, and online courses. That's going to be the only thing that's going to be with digital content. I mean, digital pimping. So if you like come in onto a webinar and you was like, Hey, you know, I got a Craigslist question. I'm will ignore you. And that's something that I have to, you know, cause I was being generous and people would ask questions that had nothing to do with the webinar. And I'm like, no, digital pimping is digital pimping is digital pimping. See that? That's that pimp hand. It's strong. It's strong. And that's what's going to happen. So links below, I've got two options for you. You can buy it by the course, economical, or you can go ahead and get in on this beta lifetime membership. Now, how does this work? Because I've got the private video site. What I'm going to do, everything is going to be on Gumroad. I'm just going to like, bam, all of the video courses will be on this one tab on Gumroad. And then when I get the private site up, I'll just transition you over. It's just easier to do quicker to do you get the content you can get started we can have the conversations and we can start rocking and rolling and that's how it's gonna go so hopefully you were thoroughly entertained hopefully you got something out of this and <clears throat> hopefully you will see me on the other side because part of how to develop a profitable YouTube channel I have a brand <clears throat> excuse me I have a brand new YouTube channel and I'm gonna you're gonna watch me build it step by step i'm going to show you the end like okay this is what i did this is how to do it this is how you create the artwork There's so many resources that are sick that's why it's going to take months to talk about it but if you do this stuff and you start building your channel this way you will make money at some point i cannot say when but at some point you will make money and how cool is that so there are your uh, links. You know, I'm using the iCards, which work on mobile. It's that little I, and that's how you can make your purchase, and you can get started today. There will be three to four hours of content per week with digital pimping. It's going to be a lot of stuff, and that's why I'm saying get in now. All right, this is Glendon, and I will see you in the next session.